What's up guys, Harold here, Figure Mania Show. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world. And in today's video, I'm in front of the camera first off because I gotta give a special shout out and thank you to the folks that managed to pick this up for me. They went out of their way to get this for me. They didn't have to, but they did. And I gotta give a special shout out and thank you to the folks at Calkiss Toys. Okay, so Zoe and uh, you know and uh, and your friend there who went to Shanghai to pick this up. Thank you so much. I am very grateful that you guys managed to pick this up for me. You didn't have to do that at all, but I'm very happy that you did. And I love this thing so much. You know, Haya Toys, they they really killed it with this uh, with this figure. I mean. Just look at the box, guys. So it's got the exclusive label on it. It's got a really nice uh, picture and things on it. So like things that we've come to expect from Haya Toys. And uh, I'll show you guys in a moment uh, and I'll break the figure down. Now, as I'm recording, I haven't done any toy photography yet. So like by the, by the end of this video, hopefully, uh, you know, you, you guys will see my photos and my behind the scenes and all that and things. Okay. But, uh, you know, to Haya Toys, I do hope that, you know, I do hope for everybody who wants this figure at some point down the line, uh, Haya Toys does uh, re-release re this figure in some way. Okay. So, I mean, I'm happy that, you know, my, my, my collection of Haya Toys Godzilla figures will be complete with this guy here, you know, but, um, for you guys, uh, looking for, for this figure, Haya, um, I'm sorry, Calkiss Toys did have just a limited stock, but it sold out right away. Okay. Now they did tell me that, uh, for you guys, uh, they want me to tell you that, uh, be on the look out in uh, next week on Calkiss Toy. They are working on getting uh, more stock uh, in hand of this guy. Now, unfortunately, um, it will be, uh, you know, the price for this guy will be a little bit higher because they're, they're getting th this guy from a, a, from a reseller. So they're not getting it directly from Haya Toys where how they normally get their stuff. So they're getting it from a different seller and then, you know, from there on, you know, they're gonna be distributing and things, okay? So if you guys are, are, are looking for this guy, be on the lookout uh, at calkistoy.com. Uh, you know, sometime next week, just be on the lookout. Guys, don't forget to use my promo code figuremania-calcus to get 6% on this guy. And, uh, you know, they're gonna be limited stock. So you guys, if you want it, better jump on it right away. All right, guys, so let's turn the camera around and I'll show you guys the figure because this figure is so awesome. And I hope that you guys uh, do pick this figure up at some point in things because you're gonna be re really happy with it. I know I am. And here is a look at the figure out of the box and this figure just as soon as I opened it I, I took a look at him and man this figure is absolutely awesome the the colors and everything just it's just everything is just beautifully done on this figure from the black shading on this figure and the oranges and a little bit of yellows uh, throughout the figure uh, even the the colors of the of the dorsal fins everything is just on point with this figure i do believe that this is the definitive uh burning godzilla 2019 in articulated uh figure form this thing is absolutely beautiful i remember when i did a uh the review to the first burning godzilla i did mention that i hope that uh we would see another version uh in a translucent orange plastic which this figure is in but would have the uh, color scheme of the uh, spyro studios burning godzilla because i thought the that one looks more on point than uh, any other uh, burning godzilla out on the market and they've actually followed through this looks pretty much like a shrunken down version of the uh of the spyro studios uh color scheme and paint app uh, if you take a look at any and, and you compare to both so it's got like the same uh, you know the uh, the black tips on the dorsal fins and that's how you pretty much see it on the uh, Spyro Studios but the Spyro Studios is a gigantic uh, size statue that glows from head to toe you know so which is really cool but again as I said this guy uh, comes in a translucent orange plastic so 
uh, you know, using a, a, a strong light behind them, you'll be able to you know, make them glow. I have seen pictures online already, other people like stuffing uh, LEDs inside the figure and making them glow and it looks fantastic. I won't be doing that to my figure. I don't want to tamper with him or anything like that. So I'm just going to keep this figure as it is. Now this figure does come with an extra pair of hands. It's got the, uh, the fist hands that you guys see here at the bottom and it's got the two uh, God Ghidorah uh, parts okay so like um, I'll show you guys that in a second uh, how um, how that looks and how to apply it in things and uh, let's take this figure off the uh, off the rotating stand now and let's take a closer look at it with each release of uh, Haya Toys putting out a Godzilla figure, there does appear to be like uh, a consistent change throughout um, the engineering of the figure with each release. And this figure, uh, to me at least, feels no different. Uh, like as soon as I got this guy out of the box, I started fiddling around with him right away. And I did notice right away that the tail on this guy is much more... Uh, fluent and much more poseable. The plastic on the tail does feel more malleable as opposed to, uh, you know, like the first generation of Godzilla figures that they put out. So uh, they've really improved on that since, uh, you know, since starting. And yeah, like there's no, you know, yeah, I can just, like the original uh, figure can do the same posing. It's just easier i can't i the, if you guys understand what i'm trying to say it's just a, the 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 ease of posing on this guy is a little bit uh more fluent and much more manageable as uh, as opposed to like the first generation of uh figures that they put out now let's take a closer look at the uh godora parts that uh comes with this guy so let me just uh see if i can get the camera to zoom in Okay, I'll just do this one at a time. So, wait a second. So there's got nice detailing on uh, on the Ghidorah stump, so you can see like the bones and like the cartilages and all that. That looks very cool. Very nicely detailed. That looks really cool. Now let's look at the other part. that looks really awesome the detail on this even though small is just very impressive i really like what they did with this man very nice okay and you do notice that um this these are meant to go with the gravity beam uh Ghidorah. so if you guys uh don't have that that gravity beam Ghidorah, and you have the other one I mean the color is not gonna match. Well, we'll take we'll take both uh, Gad Ghidorahs out in a, in, in a minute, and we'll and, and we'll do the comparison so you guys can see for yourselves. Just like the energized Godzilla, this guy comes with uh, closed hands, and there is like a spacing there for you to put something in his hand if you want. Okay, I've have seen I have seen people get creative and put like machine guns and stuff like that in his hand or whatever you know so that option's there for you and it's uh, also molded in the same uh, translucent uh, orange plastic as the figure itself okay i brought the figure in uh, closer to the camera and also the lights closer so you guys can see the details on this figure and this thing absolutely pops my goodness let me just adjust the head a little bit. Okay, so there is a, a good uh, amount of like, you know, uh, black wash. You know, some of uh, some customizers may want to go a little bit more, but I personally like this very much. And I do like how they uh, colored the, the eye pupil yellow, which is pretty much like what you see in the film. This is this is very nicely done. The teeth too, they're 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 colored almost like the Spiral Studios. Because if you recall, like the Spiral Studios one, like even though it's a closed mouth, like the the teeth uh, look like they were painted black, which I kind of like it because it's, it it gives that color separation, which is kind of cool. So giving you guys a closer look at the the dorsal fins. 
Very nice, very nice. Look at that. So you got the, uh, you know, like the, the, you know, the nice coloration, the orange colorations through all the crevices and all the cracks of his skin. So a good healthy amount of uh, black wash on his, on his, on this figure as well. And this is throughout the body. I think it's pretty consistent, which is very nice, even on the chest. Just beautiful details. I mean, like with the the way that this guy's painted, like it really, it really uh, brings out the details of this figure even more. So clearly, it's different from the uh, from the original, but. Um, there's enough here where it, it, it definitely feels like a different figure, even though it's got like the same mold, which is nice. Just beautiful. Congratulations, Haya Toys. You killed it with this one once again. Here's a look at both figures, and these two look fantastic next to each other. So clearly you can see there's a, there's a clear difference in the, in the paint app, especially on the spines, on the face, the mouth, the eyes. It's all good. I mean, nothing wrong with this one. I mean, I like the way that this is, uh, this one looks too, but you know, it's not in a translucent uh, orange plastic as this guy, you know? So um, if you guys are into variant collecting like I am, so both these guys are worth keeping. Now, once again, in terms of the articulation, the articulation the, is, is the exact same, but however, as I stated earlier, you know, just the, there just seems to be a, a more of an ease of posing the tail this time around, uh, as opposed to the, uh, the previous figure. So this is something that you just, you, for, for you guys who are gonna get this figure and have this one too, you'll have to just experience for yourself to understand what I'm trying to tell you. So, I mean, you can get the exact same range with this guy too. Uh, it's just that you can push that, that articulation a little bit uh, um, more with this guy here. At least it's, it's easier to pose this guy than this guy, which is what, I, which is what I'm trying to say. For the next demonstration, I brought out both versions of Ghidorah because I want to show you guys uh, these parts over here that come with the figure. So the uh, the stumps. Okay. Now, one thing uh, to let you guys know that when you do get this figure, it does come with the instructions on how to replace those parts. Okay. So as you can see. And it tells you clearly, you know, which part. So they see the, so part one is the head, two, three, four, and then it fits this one. So I guess this one here is number four. So then like on one of the heads, you're just going to be removing uh, everything after number three. Okay. And then you insert the bottom one. Okay. Or... Oh, okay, here we go. So then on that piece, you insert that and it's got this. So let, let's do that demonstration right now and see how it looks. So let's start with the, uh, the Gravity v Beams version of Ghidorah. Okay, in King of the Monsters, it's Kevin that gets decapitated. So we will decapitate him. So if we follow the instructions back here. So let's see. So this is... Uh, this is one, two, three. So I guess I'm taking him off from here. Okay, so let me put this down and let me separate that. So I did it. Kevin is now decapitated. So if we look at this part over here, so here's how I got him. So pretty much, so see, so one, two, three, four. So I did it, put the, you know, take off the starting from the fourth part okay and then let me put this down and then this is the part that goes underneath like this okay so let me see ah okay so that was very easy that looks very cool so let me turn this around so Kevin, a dead Kevin. 
All right, so very nice. Very, very nice. Very cool. I guess I should do some pictures with uh, Godzilla holding him in his mouth, you know, holding Kevin like this. Yeah, maybe I'll do that later. I don't know if I'll do that for this video though. Update for you guys. I was trying for a couple of minutes, trying very hard to remove Kevin's head on this Ghidorah. Now, I decided to stop um, because like with the Gravity Beams version Ghidorah, it was very easy to remove his head. But this guy here, man, unless I use heat, uh, I don't think this, uh, uh, his head is meant to be, uh, you know, uh, replaced like the other ones. So I decided not to do that for the fear of damaging my own figure. Okay, so I mean, if you guys uh, only have this version of Ghidorah and you guys do have this figure, uh, I'd exercise uh, caution. I mean, do use heat if you do plan on doing that, but honestly i'm not sure if it's meant to uh be removed okay there might be some breakages or whatever i don't know but i decided not to do that for mine because i'm worried that i might break mine but in any case here's how uh you know these parts differ from uh this version of Ghidorah. And as you can clearly tell you know it's it's you know it's, it's meant for the gravity beams version so this is um I mean, you guys are welcome to try and do it, but I don't know. This is clearly meant for the Gravity Beams version, not this one. And for the final demo, I will demo you guys the translucent nature of this uh, figure. So I've dimmed down the lights and I am using my Ulanzi cube lights. So let's turn this bad boy on and here we go. Wow, look at that very cool very nice taking a closer look and look at how that bright lights up man very nice gotta make sure not i don't shine the light in the camera too much Very nice. I really like translucent uh, figures like this. Just really, it's just a special treat, especially if it's done right. And I think this figure is done right. Very cool. Here's a look at the battle version Burning Godzilla with the Energized Godzilla and both look fantastic next to each other. So cool. And here are all nine releases of the Haya Toys legendary Godzilla figures all together. And man, I've got so many of them that I can't get them all in one frame. I have to do this. Okay, and, and it goes way beyond uh, my scene here, which is pretty cool and crazy. Yeah, so guys, question for you guys. Do you have every single release like I do? Please let me know in the comments. And which one is your favorite? I, I can't pinpoint one that's, uh, you know, my favorite. I really like this new Burning Godzilla and things. And, uh, you know, the original one forever holds a special place in my heart because it was the first one. But man, every single release has been awesome. Haya Toys just really killed it with all these Godzillas. Thank you so much, Haya Toys. And that's it for this review, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching today, guys. And uh, please stay tuned to the end of this video for some of my behind the scenes of my toy photography of this figure right here. And to Haya Toys, thank you so much. This figure is absolutely awesome. I do hope that you guys reconsider uh, re-releasing this to other people that didn't get the chance to get this figure in hand because everybody deserves to have this. I mean, thankfully, I, I'm feel much better knowing 
feeling that my collection is more complete now that I have this guy in, in hand and there's more Godzillas on the way and I can't wait for that as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.